Hey everyone, welcome back to Mad About Design. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to design this flower vase using Autodesk Fusion 360. This flower vase can be designed. This flower vase can be used for 3D printing also. You can also change the size of the flower vase by sliding this line. as follows here are the tools and commands I am going to use in this tutorial if you are new to this channel do subscribe to us and turn on the bell notification so that you won't miss any of our new videos now without wasting time let's get into it first Create a new design by going to File, select New Design. The unit I am going to use for this tutorial is millimeter. You can change it by clicking here and change any kind of unit type. Create a new sketch on the top plane. Draw a center dia circle of diameter 75 millimeter from the origin followed by a two point rectangle of dimension 75 by 2 millimeter select this line of the rectangle and under constraint select midpoint and click on the origin so the midpoint of this line of the rectangle will move to the origin finish sketch now create another sketch on the front plane Draw a straight line from the origin in upward direction as follows and give it a length of 200 millimeter. Draw couple of horizontal lines from this straight line as follows. I'm going to give it a length of 60 millimeter the next one here and the third one here finish sketch now I'm going to create three parallel planes on these lines to do so, go to construct and click on plane at angle. Select this first line. Make sure the angle is 0 degree so that it will be parallel to the top plane. Click OK. Repeat the same process for the remaining two lines. Right click, repeat plane at angle. Select this line, angle 0 degree, click OK. Repeat it for the last time, angle 0 degree, click OK. Now I am going to draw three circles on these three planes. So create a new sketch on this plane. Draw a center dia circle of diameter 115 millimeter. You can pick any diameter as per your preference. Let's arrange this diameter properly. Finish sketch. 
create another sketch select this plane draw another concentric circle of diameter 45 millimeter finish sketch and for the last plane draw a center dash circle from the origin of diameter 65 millimeter now create a construction line from the origin at an angle of 30 degree as follows turn off the construction feature go to three point rectangle select the first point of the rectangle here the second point here and third point here press D to go to sketch dimension command select this edge and give it a dimension of 75 millimeter press enter select this edge and give it a dimension of 2 millimeter press enter under constraint select parallel select this line and the construction line it is saying sketch geometry is over constraint that means these two lines are already parallel to each other now under constraint click on midpoint select this edge and the origin so the midpoint of this edge will move to the origin it looks okay so finish sketch now go to surface under create click on loft command select all these circular profiles one by one in sequence select the first circular profile carefully second one third one and the last one this profile has not been selected yet that's why it has taken this peculiar shape so select this profile also now it looks great click ok click on the front side if you want you can also tweak the size of our flower base this size looks good okay moving to the next part you can see the vase is not closed yet in order to do so go to patch select this circular profile here you can see a surface has been created click ok hide sketch to here we have got two surfaces here is the first one the vase and the second one is the bottom let's join them together so under modify click on stitch first surface has been already selected now select the second one click ok here you can see 
both the surfaces have merged together and created a new surface here this body 3 now under create go to thicken select the full surface and provide a thickness of minus 2.5 millimeter so the body will be created inside the surface click ok here we have got our new body this one will be used as the actual bus hide this one and turn on the visibility of the previous surface go to thicken again select the whole surface and for the thickness provide 1.5 millimeter so the new body will be created outside the surface click ok if i turn on the visibility of previous body you can see both of them side by side this will be our actual vase this one will be used to create the pattern so hide our body 4 turn on the visibility of sketch 1 and sketch 3 go to solid toolbar under create click on loft for the profile select this rectangular profile carefully and for the second profile select this one change the operation to intersect so the intersecting part of both the bodies will remain click ok hide sketch 1 and sketch 5 and turn on the visibility of body 4 let's add some fillet on these sharp edges under modify click on fillet select these two edge and provide a fillet radius of 1 millimeter press enter it looks good so pattern this around this bus under create go to circular pattern object type bodies and for the object select this body for the axis select this circle number of quantities 35 distribution full and click ok it looks good here all the patterned body it's time to join all of them so under modify click on combine for the target body select the vase and for the tool bodies select all of the remaining bodies as follows operation join and click ok here we have got our bus if you want you can change the shape of the flower bus by tweaking these lines a little bit that's it it's time to add some color so press a to go to appearance i'm going to apply this glass light blue color on it it looks great I hope you guys have learned something new in this tutorial. If you liked the video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.
see you in the next tutorial till then keep designing and design whatever you love thank you